In January 2019, President Mohamed Buhari signed an executive order 007 on road infrastructure development and refurbishment investment tax credit scheme to last 10 years. Well, the NNPC Limited has keyed into this scheme in collaboration with the Ministry of Works and Housing as well as the Federal Inland Revenue Service to ease the transportation challenges faced by petroleum marketers. Now the aim is to ensure efficient and sustainable distribution of petroleum products across the country. A delegation comprising the NNPC Limited Board of Directors, officials of the Federal Inland Revenue Service led by its chairman, and officials from the Ministry of Works carried out the inspection to assess the level of work done so far at the Bida Lambata Road in Niger State and the Lagos Ibadan Expressway met. in Lagos State. The intervention from NNPC has taken this, this project from 10% to 40% in a very short time. And uh, we have achieved a lot. And you can see that the contractor is still working. And what they have done already is quality work. We believe that this tax credit system, which Mr. President has put in place, is a game changer for our country. We believe that in the next 24 months, there will be massive change to the entire road network in this country. 21 roads spanning over 1,800 kilometers are being constructed or rehabilitated across the country at the cost of 621.24 billion naira. NNPC Limited is funding these road projects. The equivalent amount will be deducted by the Federal Inland Revenue Service from NNPC's tax obligations. Uh, we must give credit to Mr. President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, who first and foremost uh, signed the Federal Executive Order Number no. 7, which enabled NMPC and other institutions that are of commercial nature to utilize their tax, uh, tax obligations to create infrastructure in our country. So this road is going to facilitate trade, it's going to facilitate movement of people from one destination to the other. It's going to ensure security of property and lives of our citizens. The NNPCL has now committed over 1 trillion naira as additional funding to be invested in road infrastructure across the country. And we believe that this intervention will bring change to our country, will bring infrastructure close to our people and also uh, enable the utilization of tax revenues appropriately in a manner that would benefit every one of us in the country. It was as a result of our agitation that this, this intervention came in. People were doubting it when we signed the agreement, when we entered into communicate with them, that they were going to do this with tax payers' money, 621 billion naira. We have started this, we, have, we are inspecting this today, and we hope the 21 road here marked for that thing will be done accordingly. This is very economical. You know, a lot of uh, vehicles, long, long vehicles, passing through it. Our own people also using day and night. We are really very happy and we hope this thing will bring lasting solution to all these uh, bad roads and insecurity across the roads. The quality has improved and to ease transportation, especially of the trucks on this road. Bear in mind that this is a link road between Abuja and Lagos. In two, three, four years ago, we have a problem here. If you from Badagri to Agbada, three, four hours. To my two, six, seven hours. But today, under one hour, we reach Agbada. Under one half hour, we reach my two. So we, we are happy. My NNPC is liaising with road transport unions and other stakeholders to ensure smooth and prompt delivery of the projects according to standards and specification. Georgina Ndukwezainka, Arise News.